glioblastoma is a primary brain tumor, means it starts out in the brain um, and grows very rapidly. And in fact, it's one of the deadliest uh, cancers out there. And it is one of the most resistant to treatment. So the current treatment, which starts out with surgery, then goes on to deliver post-operative radiation therapy over a course of up to six weeks, along with a chemotherapy pill called Temidar. Um, it's the best that we can do, but that best is not good enough. So the cancer almost invariably comes back and the overall survival expectation for these patients is very limited. Um, and right now there is really not much out there in terms of novel therapies. The only clinical trials that are available are all in the context of disease that has already come back after um, standard treatment. Um, and it's really hard to do anything about. Um, so. Uh, what you really need is um, novel treatments from the moment that the disease is di diagnosed. And that's exactly what we have here. We have uh, an investigator-initiated clinical trial um, conducted by myself along with my colleagues, Dr. Charles Michaels, a neurosurgeon, and Dr. Agnes Kowalski, a neuro-oncologist. This is based on our laboratory research that was carried out over several years here at Stony Brook in a lab headed by myself along with um, Dr. Samuel Ryu, who is a chairman of radiation oncology and one of the world experts on treating brain cancer. And this approach basically harnesses the patient's immune system up front before surgery along with um, high dose, very precisely targeted stereotactic radio surgery. So this is very precise high dose radiation given together with immunotherapy treatment to get a response from the body fighting the cancer before the patient even gets to the operating room. Then the cancer is taken out and then the patients continue with the standard six weeks of radiotherapy together with a chemotherapy pill, Temidar, while also con continuing the immunotherapy infusions to harness maximal immune response. In medicine in general, in particular in cancer medicine, we are, our ultimate goal is to be able to cure patients um, of their disease. And uh, if we are not able to do that, then our goal is to extend both their quantity and their quality of life as much as possible. To be eligible for the clinical trial, um, the patient has to have been just diagnosed uh, based on a brain MRI. So this is a patient who has just come into the emergency room with new symptoms, new neurological symptoms. They've just had a brain MRI and, it, and it's very suggestive of glioblastoma. That's it. At that point, um, they can enroll in the trial. They get a biopsy. Um, and if the biopsy confirms glioblastoma, then we start the treatment, uh, the innovative treatment right away. Um, if they have already had surgery, had standard of care treatment, then unfortunately they're not eligible. So this has to be done right away as soon as the MRI suggests glioblastoma. At Stony Brook Medicine, we have both the scientific and um, the clinical expertise uh, needed to carry out um, these very novel, um, hopefully revolutionary translational research. Um, we are, in fact, the only large-scale academic institution with a very strong research component um, in Suffolk County and uh, one of only two on all of Long Island. Um, and, um, you know, I think um, talking about my colleagues who I'm very fortunate to have worked with me on this trial, these are really top-notch experts in their field. And I don't think you can do it better anywhere. And, uh, you know, this, this team is, is really what it takes to, to move research like this forward.